Hi everybody and welcome again to the Power Ads from Zero to Hero series. Thank you for continuing this journey with me. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the delete option to delete items from the customer's gallery. So let's dive into it. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to configure this icon to delete the item from the gallery. So the first thing we're going to do is basically we're going to add uh, some icons. First, let's add this rectangle and we're going to position this rectangle over the whole screen and let's change the field. Let's put this field. As you can see, this field has a transparency so we can see the, the back of the, of the screen. Then we're going to add an additional rectangle. This is going to be something like a pop-up. So when I click on that icon, the idea is that this pop-up will launch uh, with some confirmation, right? Okay, we are going to resize that this icon and then let's add some additional controls. Uh, the first control will be this label. And also let's add a couple of buttons. Okay, so here we have uh, one button, this is going to be for the confirmation and the other one to cancel if we don't want to delete that item. Then what we're going to do is basically let's change another property. Um, now let's go to the text and change the text. This is going to be the, the confirmation text, right? So we can put, for example, are you sure you want to delete um, this item or this customer, right? Uh, let's do the same here for the button. Let's change uh, some other properties like the font. And then let's change its text, right? This button is going to be the button for to confirm that we want to delete the item and the other one will be used to cancel if we don't if we want to cancel the delete operation now it's important also to change the field let me just do this really quickly this is going to be in black color and we are going to do the same for the buttons right so this is going to be the color for the confirm button and for in the case of the cancel button we are going to use a different field let me put this field And let's change the color. Okay. And let's preview. So this is how it's gonna be our pop-up when we click on the on the icon. Let me let me do a an additional change. This is the final change on its properties uh, for the hover field. I'm gonna change this hover field for this other one and the same for the cancel button. Let me change the property, hover fill. Okay, let's change that. Okay, excellent. Now when we preview, now the, the hover fill it's okay, right? So now we have our pop-up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all the components, all the controls that are part of the pop-up and we're gonna group those controls as one entity. Let me change the name of the group. This is going to be delete confirmation pop-up. Okay. Uh, and now, well, obviously it's important to rename the all of the controls that we have used, right? Uh, this is going to be important if we're going to reference those uh, controls or buttons or whatever through the functions. So let me do this really quickly. Okay, excellent. Now, uh, what we're going to configure is the the visible property of this group, right? But before doing that, let me go to the invisible property of the home screen because we're going to create a variable. Um, this variable is going to be the deletion pop-up and we're going to put this value on false. And we're going to use this value to specify if we're going to show or, or hide this pop-up, right? 
So uh, if we go back to the deletion confirmation pop-up, which is, is this group, and we go to its visible property, uh, we can put the value of this variable. By default, it's false. That's why uh, the, the pop-up has been hidden, right? Now let's uh, configure the onSelect method for this uh, icon. So we're going to basically update the value of this variable. Uh, we're going to put the value of true. So when we click on that value, basically what we're, go what we're doing is uh, putting the, the value of the, vis the, of the visible property to true. That's why that's the way we show that pop-up, right? Then in the button cancel, basically we're going to do the same. We're going to update the value of that variable, but uh, instead of true, it's obviously going to be false. So in that way we can show or hide the deletion confirmation pop-up, right? So let's see, let's say we select uh, one of these items, we click on any of them, and when we can click on cancel, we can close again the pop-up. It's like if we, we don't want to execute the, the, delete, the delete operation, right? Now let me add an additional variable. This is going to be the variable delete option. And basically this variable is going to specify uh, which item are we del are we deleting? If we are deleting a customer, if we are deleting an opportunity, this is important to determine which operation are one we're going to execute, right? You see the delete icon also exists on the opportunity section, so that variable is going to be important. So when we click here, basically in this icon, we are going to put the value of the delete option to the to the name customer because in that way we are specifying that we are deleting a customer, right? So when I click on this icon uh, and we open this, this pop-up, we want to specify on the onSelect method of the confirmation uh, of the button. Basically, we are going to first of all validate the delete option. So we are saying if the delete option is customer, we are going to execute the method remove which basically is, is asking me for a collection. The collection is basically the list of customers and the item is basically the item that we want to delete. So the item is going to be basically the selected item from the customer's gallery, right? So we specify customer's gallery, sell point selected. Um, after that, we just need to close this operation, okay? So easy like that. And at the end, what we're going to do is basically we are going to close. After we delete the item, we are just going to close the pop up That's why we update the delete deletion pop up variable. Easy like that. So again, let's do a test. Let me select a con uh, customer from this country. Uh, this one, for example. So when I click on this button, we are going to get a confirmation item. And when I click on confirm, basically we delete that item okay guys that was all for today's video i hope this video ha was informative for you in our next video we're gonna start working on the action plan basically we're gonna work on the app settings screen where we're going to configure the plan as well as the bucket so if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe comment, uh, provide any feedback and share this video with your friends. Thank you and hope to see you again.